In this exercise, I'm going to enhance this spreadsheet by adding a chart. A chart makes it much easier to interpret the data that my spreadsheet is showing me. And it's very easy to insert a chart onto a spreadsheet in Excel. As a general rule, select a cell in your data, go to the Insert tab and choose a chart. And I'm going to choose a 2D column chart. Excel has created the chart for me. It's automatically selected the data that it thinks I want to include. And although the chart looks perfectly good, I'm not too happy with it because there's one or two things I don't like. First of all, that tall orange column. That represents the total value in my data. The total value is the sum of all the other values and as such it needs to be the biggest column and in order to fit it on the chart Excel has had to make all the other values quite small and it's quite difficult to distinguish between them. Generally speaking you don't need to include the total on a chart unless you're actually comparing a specific value with the total. I'm just going to drag my chart over here to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. It's very easy to remove that from the chart. You'll notice that when a chart is selected, the data that's included in the chart is sur surrounded with coloured rectangles. And if I just change the size of that rectangle by dragging it, I can exclude the total and now the chart is much easier to see because that very large value has been removed. Well we can see that the dark blue which represents DVDs is the greatest value and the smallest is the pale blue which is books but it's a bit difficult to distinguish between the others and that's because when you're comparing several series of data a column chart isn't really the best sort of chart to use. If I was comparing, for example, just two series of data, DVD and Blu-ray here, the column chart is a lot more suitable. But for my five series of data, it's not really suitable. I would prefer to use a line chart for this. Here's why. If I select my data manually this time, and I'm not including the total in my selection. I can insert a line chart. Again, I'll choose a simple 2D line. I'll move it down here for you to compare the two. You'll see that it's much easier to compare the different series. Again, we can see that the dark blue is the strongest selling the pale blue is the weakest selling and not only can we see the order in which the others appear but also the relative differences between them. Much easier to see and understand than on a column chart. There's something really important that's missing from these charts and that's a title. It's really easy to add. You'll notice that when a chart is selected Excel displays three new tabs under the chart tools heading on the ribbon and we need to go to the layout tab to add a chart title I want mine above the chart and I'll just select that data and type the heading that I want 10 year sales forecast I can also change the colour scheme. For that I need to go to the design tab and I'm offered lots of different ones. I'm going to choose one with a black background because when you're viewing a chart on screen I think a black background is very attractive also if it's projected on a screen but don't use a black background if you're printing unless you're printing on very high quality paper because it doesn't look very attractive. Much easier to use a white background for that and it's just as easy to change it back using your design options. There's some more things I want to change on my chart here. 
to change text it's very easy I'll select it I want to make it less prominent by removing the bolding and using a smaller point size I'll go to my home tab to do that I'm going to change it to 14 point and remove the bolding I think the colored lines are a bit too thick so I can reduce the size of them now when you want to change most things on a chart right click on the item that you want to change and the last item on the menu will be format and it's saying format data series when I choose that the format dialog opens I want to change the line style to two point and I actually have to do that for each one but I don't have to do the right click again I can just left click on it because my format dialog is still open it just reflects whatever item I happen to have selected so I need to do each one it's a little bit tedious but it's really important when you're creating things that other people are going to see that they look good and it's worth the extra bit of time that you spend making them look just right so I've changed all the lines to two point I'm not very happy with this grey plot area it's got a coloured fill which is a pale grey I don't want any fill I want to be able to see the black background of the chart now I've clicked on it to select it I can just choose no fill up here and there we are my black background is now visible finally I want to get rid of these horizontal white grid lines because they don't really make it any easier to see what my chart is showing me I don't need to use the formatting tool here so I can close it I just need to click on one of the grid lines that selects them all and I'll press the delete key on my keyboard to remove them. Now I'm happy with my chart and you will see that as I change the values on my worksheet the charts change to reflect that. So charts are a really useful tool for making it easier to understand what your spreadsheet is showing you. Finally, there's one kind of chart which is very popular but is rather difficult to use properly and that's the pie chart. I'll delete these charts so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. I'll select my data again and I'll insert a pie chart. I'll choose, I'll choose a 3D pie here now that looks really nice but notice that it's only showing a single series of data a pie chart can only show one series of data it's showing the data for the DVDs so regardless of how many series I select still only one series is reflected here in the data a pie chart is not suitable for any more than a single series and it is best used to show how different items contribute to a total what it's showing at the moment is a timeline it's showing year 1 through to year 10 uh, the legend here is not showing year 10 but that's only because Excel didn't have the room I'm just going to make the legend a bit taller and you'll see that year 10 is being represented. A timeline is far better represented by a line chart or a column chart. So for example I can change this, I'll go to change chart type, choose a column chart and OK and there's my 10 years of data for a single series being reflected 
with a column chart. Much more suitable way of doing that. So when is the best time to use a pie chart? If you want to show proportionally how much each an item goes to making up a total, that's when a pie chart is really useful. So I'm going to select just a single series of data. I'll insert my pie chart and I think 3D pies look really good. And there's my data for year one. You can see each of the series is shown. It's very easy to see which is the biggest one, the next biggest and so on. Don't include the total remember. The total is what all the others add up to. So if you include it in the pie, it'll take up exactly half of it. That's not a good thing to do. We'll take that out. But there we have an ideal use of a pie chart. And that concludes this exercise.